Hi everybody, this is Angela Lee coming to you live from the Shoe Chick Art Studio in fabulous Las Vegas. And I am the Shoe Chick because when you paint with me, kids in Africa get shoes. And if you want to know more information about that, check out my website at theshoechickstore.com. It's a store because there's stuff to buy there. Paint kits, paintings, magnets, really cool stuff, okay? So, let me tell you how it works. <laughs> my name is Angela Lee. I am the number one paint and sip lady woman person in las vegas i do paint parties live i do paint parties virtual today we are painting raiders girl okay so what i do is i take you about 90 percent through the painting and then leave you alone to work out the details okay don't worry because i really am going to take you 99 percent through the painting maybe 90 and you'll be just fine trust me okay so this is paint party 101 because you know what I pre-trace my canvases. Woo! Isn't that cool? Because my objective is not to stress you out. It's, just, it's to introduce you to the joy of painting. I hate how the ring light like does that in my eyes. I'm going to try to keep my head tilted so, so uh, <laughs> that doesn't happen. Okay, so there's no editing, so anything can happen. I could drop a paintbrush. I could, I don't know. I could do anything. Like right now, I'm looking at my fingernail. I forgot to, I broke my fingernail and I forgot to paint it. Like, in case you saw that already. There's no editing, <laughs> all right? Because it's about the experience. It's not about being perfect. As a matter of fact, there's a reference photo in your kit. If you want to switch up the colors and do it something, do it another way, it's up to you. It's your painting. So take all the paints and everything. Um, take all the tape and stuff off your paintings. I'm painting with the exact same materials you're painting with. A flat brush, a detail brush, and a sponge brush. You're going to take that... Um, um, apron, there's an apron in your kit, it fully opens up and it goes over your head. We're painting with acrylic paints today, like always. They're very easily to wash off your hands, not, not so easily off your clothes, okay? There is one, uh, for this particular painting, there's a little cup like this with an X on the top. That's your Mod Podge. That's what we're going to use to attach the decal of your favorite team on there, okay? So this is Football Girl that we're painting, oh, and your water cup. Fill your, half, your uh, water cup halfway with water. So the first thing that we're going to do, like we always do, is we're going to take that sponge brush, we're going to dunk it in our water, and we're going to apply a light, light coat of water on our canvas. You're not going to worry too much about washing away the lines because they're a little bit more than just um, a little bit more than just uh, water. I mean, a little bit more than just a uh, pencil. Um, I'm looking around for my highly absorbent blue paper towel because if it's a little too wet, you're just going to dab uh, dab it off a little bit with your paper towel. Okay. Let's see if I have paper towels, and I don't, so give me one second. I usually have everything in front of me, and today I did not. Okay, so I got my paper towel. So if you put a little bit too much water on it, you're just going to dab it off a little bit, just like that. All right? And because we don't want it to be too wet. And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to take this, and we do it a little differently today. We're going to take this flat tip brush. We're going to do a lot of painting with that. We're going to dip it right into our blue paint, and then we're going to outline her, and then we're going to paint the back on, background in blue, okay? So I'm outlining everything first, then I'm going to paint a little bit out. I'm going to paint a little bit out so that I'm going to use that sponge brush. By the way, rest the sponge brush on your tray. Don't rest it, rest it in your water, okay? So I'm outlining her. Just like that. And I'm going to paint out a little bit. Just a little bit so that I don't have to spend so much time painting it in. I'm going to use a sponge brush to paint the big area in. Okay? So, just painting out from my trace line. Everything that's supposed to be blue. If you are confused about what's blue and what's not, it's pretty obvious in this painting. Just, uh... Take a look at your reference photo. I don't have one with me today. I'm actually looking at the actual painting, but the reference photo is a little tiny photo that's in your kit. So we're painting out. And I'm going to play a little bit of my YouTube safe music. So this painting came about because Allegiant Stadium just opened in Las Vegas. So 
Raiders is our team in Vegas, and it's the first time we've had a professional football team. I'm not really a football girl. My husband loves the Cowboys, so I'm just quiet when the games come on. He's serious about the Cowboys. But I do want to visit the stadium. So that's what inspired this. So painting out for my face on. Resting this brush in my cup of water. Gonna take this sponge brush. Now if I'm going too fast for you, that's the beauty of video. You can pause me, right? So you get totally caught up. And as I'm looking at the re re reverse the uh, Reflection, well, looking at the video, I see that I forgot to paint that part right there, so. All right, so your sponge brush probably still has a lot of water in it from that first step that we did. So I'm gonna take the blue paper towel, I'm gonna squeeze off the water, then I'm gonna go right into that blue paint and paint in the background. I'm even gonna paint the sides. When you paint the sides, you don't need a frame. Now that's why I use a sponge brush because it's easier for coverage. I wouldn't regularly paint, usually paint with a sponge brush. If you're going to paint with me a lot, I'd recommend investing in some good paint brushes. Go to Michaels, Hobby Lobby. And don't forget to paint the sides. Now remember, I'm taking you 90% through, not all the way through. And again, remember, I'm painting sideways. So it's not going to look exactly like the painting, but I'm just trying to give you the steps. I'm going to be out here about 30 minutes. I would say a good paint session for you. My paint parties are usually two hours. For this painting to really take your time and work out the details, I'd say about four hours. Take your time, put your music on and enjoy the painting experience. Now, if you want all your paint strokes, your brush strokes to go in the same direction, take a little bit of time and go over, go over um, the blue. And then I'm gonna recommend, if you want it to be more opaque, meaning that you don't want um, the white of the canvas showing through, you're going to apply another coat. And if you look at the reference photo, there's definitely two coats of blue on here and acrylic paints look better and better become more opaque as you apply different coats okay as you apply another coat it's just like when you get your nails done in the salon so I want this to be a little bit so I'm painting out a little bit and I would absolutely put another coat on the background okay so the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to paint her beautiful brown skin not many colors going on in this but I really like it Remember when you rest your paint, your sponge brush, just rest it on your tray, never put it in your water, okay? The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that flat tip brush, I'm swishing it around in my water, like so. I'm gonna wipe it off on my blue paper towel. And then I'm just gonna go right into my brown paint. Now, if you want her to be lighter, you're just gonna mix it in your tray with a little bit of white. I'm just gonna use, or you can mix it right on your canvas, I'm just going to go right in, using the brown just the way it is, and I'm going to go right over her skin, right, I'm outlining everything that's brown, and if you get confused, again, look at the reference photo, hands are a little tricky, so make sure you outline those right. They're not symmetrical, but they definitely could be. Totally up to you as you use your artist's eye. Because, you know, this isn't an exact trace. 
It's um, it's like a sketch. So you might, you're gonna have to use your artist's eye to kind of even things out a little bit. I don't want any white gaps between the paint. So when I'm outlining, I'm making sure I get really close to the to the blue. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, oh, and don't forget her tummy here that she's coming through here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make mine a little bit lighter now because my, my lines are going to be dark. So I'm going to take a little bit of my white paint and put it in the tray. You might have to use the back of your brush or maybe the back of the sponge brush. I'm going to put a little bit of white in my tray. And, or you can put it right in with the brown. And I'm going to take a little bit of brown. And, if, and I'm going to, that white I have is pretty thick. Might want to add a little bit of water. Doesn't matter if your water is blue, it's fine. And I'm going to mix a little bit of brown in there. I should have took my paint so you can kind of see it there. It's going to make it a little bit easier to work with this brown. I don't like how that brown is flowing, so... Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in her beautiful brown skin and you might have to add a tiny bit of water if the paint's not flowing the way you want, okay? So I'm adding a little bit of water to my brush. The brown is kind of weird to work with, like you might, you're definitely going to have to put two coats on there. I'm going in between my water, a lot of water actually. And trying to even out her skin tone a little bit. Just a little bit of paint on my brush too, by the way. I'm not gobbing on that paint. Doesn't work well when you clump on a lot of the of the brown paint. It works better when you apply different layers, not try to get it on there all at once, okay? So I know it doesn't look like much. I love this part of the painting because it's a process, right? It's a it's a journey, not a race. I'm smoothing out her face, the outline of her face a little bit because I'm not liking the way that that's looking. All right, and then I'm going to continue the rest of her body, okay? Everything that's brown.
I'm going to apply another coat, okay? And then our tummy in there. started painting in, but I'm going to outline her hair, and I'm going to outline the cap, and then this is, uh, her, her shirt is white, and then the bottom part here is black. Now you can certainly take this brush and, and uh, paint in everything with this tiny brush, but I'm gonna do like we did with the background. I'm gonna paint it in just a little bit. I don't want any white spaces, so I'm gonna make her hair just a little bit bigger. And then I'm gonna paint close to her face and her body. Because of what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this sponge brush. All right, so I'm gonna use the do the same thing with the cap. Paint it in a little bit. Alright, and then I'm going to wish this brush, sponge brush, I'm going to rinse it out a little bit. It's gonna get messy, Ooh, really messy. Squeeze it out. If you don't wanna get dirty like that, just use that other brush, use the flat brush. Look, cause I'm getting really dirty. I don't mind getting dirty. It's what I, I love. And it's gonna wash off your hands anyway. Squeezing off my uh, brush there. Squeezing the water out as much as I can because I want this to be as dark as possible, as opaque as possible. I'm using the tip of that brush and I'm filling in all that black. Really for the sake of time. And again, that brush is just way too small. I know you're thinking, eh, it doesn't look like much. You know why I'm so confidently moving? Because I know it's gonna all come together. <laughs> now again I'm taking you 99% through the painting and I'm going 90% and I'm moving pretty fast so you might want to put me on pause take your time make sure your lines are smooth all right all done with that brush I'm gonna rest it then I'm gonna take that same brush we've been working with so much, and I'm gonna have a little fun with her hair. Now, if you look on the outside of her, the outline of her hair, I'm using the tip of my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna make little bumps. Think of it as like little M's on the side. Just little bumps to apply some texture to her hair. I'm doing that all the way down. You can change it any way you want, right? And then I'm going to take the corner of my brush and kind of put some little wispies in there. 
I'm looking at the actual painting. You look at your reference photo and just create a little texture to the outline of her hair, okay? Little wispies, little bumps, just little bumps coming all the way down. And then little, I'm taking a corner of my paintbrush and just making little wispy lines for our hair, okay? Well, that's a little too wispy. I'm not digging that too much, so I'm kind of even it out a little bit. If there's anything that you don't really like with your painting, I, I, I say it like that because there are no mistakes, right? If there's something you don't really like, the great thing about acrylic paints, you just wait for it to dry, put some white paint on it, and then paint over it. So I'm changing her hair just a little bit. It's going to be a little bit bigger than I wanted, but it's okay. I like showing you what to do if you paint something you're not really fond of, okay? All right, so kind of play around with her hair a little bit. All right. Then the next step that I'm going to do, now I'd probably go back and put um, another coat of brown on her skin. And like the light kind of makes it look bad. Because if you go like this, you can see it does definitely need another coat, but it's not quite as stripey or as it looks, okay? But that ring light makes it look the glow a little bad, okay? So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my water, which is pretty blue now. So I'm swishing my brush around, getting that black out of there. And I'm wiping it off really good on that paper towel because I don't want any black, I don't want any blue. So it doesn't really matter how yucky your, your water gets. It matters how well you wipe it, your brush off on your paper towel. I'm going to go right into my white paint and I'm going to smooth out her, uh, her tank top. Now, you don't really need to paint the whole tank top white. You can use the white of the canvas. But you do need to smooth out her boob line. <laughs> Make them bigger if you want. Do whatever you want. And it's okay if it's a little gray around there. Actually adds to the effect of things. Make sure she has some kind of waistline going on there. And again, you can paint that in. But the important thing is just to kind of even out the lines, okay? I actually go a little bit above, a little bit above the her shoulder, just to kind of show a little bit of texture on, not texture, but like a little bit of dimension of the tank top, okay? So it's not like paper mache, right? Like it's not just like on top of her. So it actually looks like she's wearing a tank top. It's funny how just little things like that can add to the effect of the, the painting, okay? So it's really hard with the ring light. It kind of gives a really bold reflection because it's the white, um, white light on the white shirt. But I think you get it. So I would apply another coat of um, brown on her skin. I would wait if you're going to do another coat of blue. I'll wait because you don't want to drag this um, black into the background, okay? You don't want to do that. So wait first for it to dry. And then um, wait for her hair to dry. Then do another coat of blue. Kind of touch up your blue a little bit and another coat of brown, okay? You also could paint with heavier acrylic paints and then you wouldn't have to apply so many coats. But I don't like heavier uh acrylic paint so just an idea you might want to experiment with them right so the next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to paint her red lips on there I'm swishing my brush around in the water wiping it off really good let me play some little bit of music outlining and painting in her lips then I'm going to do the white last okay outlining her lips Painting a man. This is the only thing we use red for. 
So maybe you want to paint her tank top red. Tell me up here. Trying to make sure there's no white gap. Then the lips just made her come to life a little bit. Now, if you're gonna put another coat of black, I mean a blue on there, you're gonna wait for this step because your blue has to be dry. I am applying, I'm gonna put the white outlines on all this now, okay? So, I just rinsed off my brush, wiped it off really good. Now the hat needs to be dry. Do not do that since the hat is not dry. And you're just gonna trust yourself to make that line. You can start thin if you want, right here on the cap. Outlining the cap right here. Take a look at your reference photo. There's a hard line going right here. There's kind of a curve mark going there. And then we'll just kind of outline the cap. Doesn't have to be perfect, right? We outlined it, and then there's a few like fun brush strokes right there. Then I just kind of got crazy with the white outline. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I put quite a bit of white paint on my brush, and I just kind of go around. And again, the blue has to be dry, so you got to be done with your background. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to, but I just thought it was kind of fun. I'm not even following the reference photo. I'm just kind of painting it in right now. All right. Actually, the reference photo doesn't have anything on that side, but I'm just gonna do it anyway. And then there's a hard line around our cap there. And again, it's kind of just like a fun technique. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. Make sure your blue is dry though, okay? Then we're gonna do some detail work with that little uh, detail brush right here. That's the pointy one. I'm going right into my white paint. And I'm trusting myself to make some white lines here. Now, if you don't trust yourself, you can get a piece of chalk and do it, but then you might mess up the um, how dark, how opaque the black is, right? So I'm just putting little tiny, tiny dots. You can get rid of them later if you want by letting them dry and then painting black over them, okay? The bib of the cap again. Because of how we have like just the rough white outlining like inside the cap, they don't have to be perfect. But if you want to make the little stitching line perfect, you can if you want. All right, just kind of going along there. Actually, there were none on that side, but I just did it anyway. It's totally up to you. I have white on my brush. I'm gonna put a few little white brush strokes in her hair. Just adding a little bit of water to my brush. All right. Kind of did a little squiggly line there. Guess what? If you don't like it, which I don't like mine, you could take a, a sponge brush and change it. Make them thinner. All right, again, using that detail brush, swish around your water, wipe it off, because it, it has white on it. I'm gonna outline our lips. A Little bit of water on my brush, so the paint's not flowing the way I want it to. Did you notice that she has a little mole on her face? I'm gonna randomly put it right there. Look at her! Like 90% done. 
Again. Put another coat on her. She's not finished. This, I did this in like 20 minutes, I think. It should take you like three or four hours. Work on her hands. Smooth out her um, t-shirt. Put another coat of brown on her skin. Go around and do some contouring. What do I mean by that? Like outlining a little bit more so it can be more defined like her chin. Once you get that brown the way you want it, work out all the details. Spend a little time on our hands because it's important. We want it to look like a like a heart. Oh, you know what I forgot? Making that line a little bit harder. So this is for when you get that brown the way you want it, okay? Then you're gonna have to go back and do some little outlining. Just kind of trying to give you an idea of what that looks like. She's kind of muscular, huh? I don't know why I chose to do that, but it's almost like she's a cheerleader. All right, so a little bit of outlining. I want her neck to be more defined, so another line right here. Okay, so I forgot her fingernail. That detail brush. Wipe it off really good. And carefully put some fingernails on there. They're at the top line on her fingers. And then on her thumbs, it's on the bottom part, right? That's how it makes sense. We want to make it make sense, right? All right, look at her. Okay, so how do we get our team on here? Now, I waited until this was pretty dry, right? This should be dry. Your decal, which I have the Raiders. You might have the team of your choice because I did customize these. Your little applique here. We're going to attach this with some Mod Podge. So you have another one. It looks like white paint, but it's not. It has an X on the top of it, okay? The one with the X on it is Mod Podge. I probably should have told you that in the beginning. Hopefully you figured that out, that it's something different, okay? Yikes. Um, so... Putting this brush right here into the water, flat tip brush. It's kind of like just glue. So um, I think actually that's what Mod Podge is. You could probably do this with acrylic, um, I mean with Elmer's glue, but it's more fun with Mod Podge. And I think Mod Podge is like waterproof and stuff, I think. I don't know. It's what, it's what the cool artists use, okay? So I just put a little Mod Podge on the back. And then I'm putting it right where I want it, and you can lift it up and move it. Kind of on an angle there. Uh, I kind of don't like it. It's kind of hard for me to tell, like, looking at the camera. So I'm just going to put it in the on there. And then I'm going to paint over it. Get the edges really good. You might have to get underneath it a little bit more. Because you want the edges to be really good. Like, I'm putting a lot on there. Because I don't want it to come up. Make sure your cap is dry and that the white is dry. It's going to dry clear for you, okay? Isn't that a fun little touch? All right, so that's going to dry clear. And look at this. The Raiders girl. Again, nowhere near being done. But you get the point, right? You got the basics. Go over her with another coat of blue before you put that white on there. Another coat of brown. Get her skin just right. And work out all the details. I hope you enjoyed painting with me today. I hope I made it easy. Paint Party 101. Um, my name is Angelique, the number one paint and sip girl in Las Vegas. Um, you can order kits from me. Visit my site. Um, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe. It keeps me going. And my phone number is in the notes. Text me your picture. I want to see how it turned out. I appreciate you. Have a wonderful day. Be safe, y'all.